love doing this work because it's uh, it's exploratory. I have questions that I'm interested in trying to examine. I have the opportunity to do it and I'm working in a fantastic environment. You just can't imagine how beautiful it is to be out here and to be looking at everything and trying to reconstruct the stories of what everything's trying to tell you, whether it's the, the plants or whether it's the, uh, the water chemistry or whether it's the sediments. A typical lake, a freshwater lake in the Arctic, is capturing the history of the land. Every year, um, after the growing season, you have a dropping of the dead materials that come off the land, or the al or the algae and plants that are going in the water. They uh, they'll die, and of course, then they sink out down to the bottom. And what happens is, after years after year, you get layers of history, layers of history of the growing pattern of the region. This is actually, given the place that we're in, this is actually a very good car. And this particular time period here uh, would probably be about 200 years of history. We're looking at major changes in CO2, uh, carbon dioxide in the, in the atmosphere. We're looking at uh, changes in temperatures. And we're starting to ask the questions, is the climate in the Arctic getting warmer? And the answer is yes, the climate is getting warmer. There's no question about it. The question for us is, how fast is this happening? And from the studies that we've been doing on three, three to four islands across the Arctic, we're finding, and, and our colleagues are finding the same thing, that the amount of growth in the local regions are happening very, very fast, very quickly. Faster than any time in the history in the last 7,000 years. So we're extremely concerned about the rate of change or the speed with which the, the warming is happening in, in the region, in the Arctic region. And that's the one thing we want to keep tracking. We want to see is this, is this a continuing trend that's going to happen. And we're also concerned about the fact that we don't know what happens with this when it happens that fast to the biology, to the region, to the people, how they, re, how they can adapt to these changes. Could be, could be good, could be bad, it's hard to say.